The other day, I heard someone talking about how lonely they were. They said they were sad because people were making fun of them, saying really bad things about them, things that weren't even true, things that hurt a lot. They said it had gotten so bad that they didn't see the point in living anymore, and that probably no one would care if they were around anymore or not. So why not just end it? I just wanted to shout out, don't let them get to you. You're too important to the rest of us. But I can't. I'm a dog. I'm Sadie, and my story begins right after I had just given birth to a litter of puppies, when my owner, who didn't care how bad he hurt me, took me into the woods up in the mountains of Kentucky and shot me. Once in the head, once in the back. He's what people call a bully. I remember feeling totally alone, abandoned. I didn't understand how someone could be so mean to me. I hadn't done anything to him. It was getting darker and colder. And even though I didn't want to leave, I could feel my world slipping away. I started feeling sad thinking about all the things I would miss if my life ended that night. What I didn't realize was there were people who heard the shots and came running to see what was wrong, came to see if they could help me. They didn't want the bully to have the last word. I don't remember much about the next couple of weeks. I heard the word bullets a lot and shrapnel and we don't know if she'll live, but I wanted to. And although I couldn't feel my hind legs, I could feel that people cared, and they didn't want me to give up. I was sent from Kentucky to a nice place in Wisconsin. One day, a woman came in to drop off blankets for us, and I thought, that's a nice thing to do. Her name was Joelle, and she asked if she could take me with her. She smiled a lot and made me feel good, so I figured it was okay. Joelle took me to meet a doctor, and then another one, and then another one, who finally said, let's give her a chance. Joelle let me stay in her house. She made me a bed, made me food, made me happy. She made me believe in myself again. I've learned that encouragement is one of the best things that friends can give to each other. Now I go to therapy almost every day. I get to swim. Sometimes I pretend I'm a fish, sometimes a duck, but most of the time I just like being a big, wet dog. I get massages, I get treatments. Oh, and I especially like that I get lots of treats. I even scored a wagon and another set of wheels so I can get around easier. These days, we don't just go to therapy, we go everywhere telling people about how bad it is to abuse others and how you gotta stop being a bystander to all the bad stuff that people are doing to one another and be what we call an upstander, standing up to the bullies and let them know that they need to cut it out. And then you have to love one another, help each other out, tell your parents or teachers or someone you trust if someone else is trying to hurt you. And remember, if something awful happens to you, something good can be just around the corner. You just have to believe that there are more people who care about you than people who don't. More people who want to love you than want to hurt you. And far more people that would miss you if you weren't here. When I look back at what happened to me, I don't think I'll ever understand how people can hurt others so easily for no reason. It's not fair, it's not right, but it is real. So the rest of us will just have to decide to love and respect one another and work together to end bullying. I survived because people stood up for me and loved me. If I would have given up, I would have never known how much joy I could bring to others and how much love they have for me. Life can turn out really good, but it may take some work. Don't be afraid to try. 
Surround yourself with people who care and stand up to those who wanna bring you down. You have something important to share with the world. Stand up for others and stand up for yourself. And you will see the world will be a better place because of you.